And after a long walk, because we're almost out of, in, of stamina the whole friggin' way, uh, we return home with our turtle shell in tow to add to our rain collector. Ladies and gentle peeps, we've done it. Hold E to drink some water. Oh yeah. Technological advancement achieved. What up, peeps? It's your friendly neighborhood Archon Kai here, hanging out today, playing some more Project Castaway. I hope you guys are all having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. If at any time you find yourselves enjoying the video today, please don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, peeps, don't forget to subscribe as well. Just waking up first thing in the morning, it's like 6 in the morning, having a little bit of hot breakfast action. Gone ahead before I started recording for you guys and got a little bit of work done. Got, in the last episode, our complete house built up, which we're going to make a little more use of today. we got some palm fronds, banana leaves, rocks, lots of sticks, large sticks, logs, small sticks. I'm all set to go. But well, the thing I want to get going today is I'd really like to get that water collector built, uh, as well as I would really, really like to try and find some more cloth. Uh, cloth is a, is a big deal in this game. It doesn't look like there's any real way to craft a whole bunch of it from other things, and it seems to be in a rather limited resource. So here we go. I missed these a little earlier. Some cr some cloth here just lying out in the water, so we're going to make sure to grab those things and check out the shoreline around the island a little better to see if we can find some more cloth. Now, what this cloth is going to allow us to do is make a couple more rope. And the big thing that we're really going to need, sorry, wrong button over here, in order to make that water purifier is this turtle shell right here. Now, I have gone ahead and done a little exploring off camera. Don't be mad at me. And I do know that there, well, there was a turtle on the island when I went out and had a look. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little extra rope right now because I'm going to need it. And we're going to get this squirted down and then we'll have it so that we know where to put it. So I want to put it right like so, and we can go ahead and squirt some of the stuff on here, like the six palm or banana leaves. We can get four of them, apparently, in one package deal as we go. I don't really know what's going on. Uh, let me, let's see, one, two. In the last episode, whoa, 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 whoa. That was ins insanely lagalicious. lagalicious. Uh, in the last episode, we touched on a little bit of hot, cheaty action. Where if you took your knife or your your hand or your axe or your spear and threw it on the ground, and then picked it back up, it would be at full durability. I want to check to see if that's the case, and it is still with the knife. Uh, I did try it with the hammer. It does not do it with the hammer, which is kind of sussé. Just saying, but I mean we can't take it all now. I know this is a little counterintuitive, but this is the other thing that I really want to check out. Um, let's pop these over in here. We're going to need them. So. If we open up our, uh, our, no, wrong button again. If we open up our crafting inventory one more time, and we come over here to this cog deal, we can make the workstation, which allows allows objects to be broken down into their basic components. Effectiveness name may vary. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. And we've got room for him right here, so let's go ahead and do that. And he takes four logs. So I'm going to go ahead and squirt some of this on here. And now we have a workstation. Now... Let's just enter into the workstation and have a quick look at it. Um, I don't really know what it's super great for, so if we take our spear and we stick it here and we hit disassemble item, it breaks it down into a small stick. One small stick, which is kind of not good because it takes two small sticks in order to craft one spear, which is right here. Two, oh, sorry, five small sticks. Um... So it's kind of a waste of a bunch of sticks in order to do that, but I just wanted to, uh, to demonstrate to you guys what it was, its usefulness was, which apparently is absolutely frig all, absolutely nothing. Uh, here's a little bit of hot rain action, as you can hear. It's making, this thing is making the sound like it's working. Uh, it is not working. So we need eight sticks. I've got a whole bunch of sticks down here. We're going to get those crafted up. I think we can carry five of these at a time, as if I remember right. No, oh, we can carry six. That's okay. Five and six is awfully close. I did okay. And squirt those in there. And then we need the turtle shell. It's like I said, I think I'm pretty sure I know where one is. Um, but in order to get there, what we're going to have to do is we have to go that way. And if you remember, in the very first episode, we went that way and kind of around the island in a that early direction. And while we were over there, we got attacked by a kitty cat. 
Uh, it was a cheetah kind of deal, and it ran us down, and it kicked our butt, and I was not super happy about it, so we're going to prepare ourselves this time to be able to deal with said creature. Now, the way we're going to be able to do that, or what we're going to do, I should say, let me go ahead and uh, Hulk smash some of these rocks down here. One, two, three, four. I'd like to have just a couple more. Do I have one more rock? Yes, please. Thank you. Up here like so. And... Uh, no, negative F. Very good! Three, so that'll make seven. Uh, what we're gonna do, and, and I'll tell you, what, show you what I'm gonna do. Wrong button, man. Keep playing Minecraft, wanting to hit tab. Um, inside here in the tool section, weapon section, I'm sorry, we're already here. We need a bow and two, uh, a bow. So a rope and two small sticks, which we have in our inventory. I'm gonna go ahead and craft it. Ladies and gentlemen, peeps, he's done it. And while I'm here, I'm going to head and take this knife, and I'm gonna stick it there, and we're gonna grab our bow. And it's going to go there in our number three spot. Here it is, ladies and gentle peeps. The magical bow with the magic arrow. We shoot the arrow. It goes ahead and hits, makes some damage. And the arrow can be picked up again for reuse, which is super awesome for us. Because uh, I hate having to make like five million arrows and not being able to get any of them back. But one arrow is not going to do us any good. So we're going to go ahead and come over here to the archery section. And we're going to make some more arrows, which is going to take stone shards and small sticks, which is why we smashed a couple of rocks already. So, um, let's go ahead and make a bunch of arrows, all the ones that we can. This is something about this game that is actually quite aggravating to me, is every time I make something in this crafting menu, I have to completely close it and then open it again. We are out of small sticks. Okay, not a big deal. One, two, three, four, and one on us makes five. Along with our spear and our axe, I think that's going to be okay. So now all we need to do is we really need to just hold off a minute. And it looks like the minute is up. Well, not really. It's still raining. But we're going to start walking our way over here and seeing what we can find. Checking out the shoreline on the way. Because remember, we're looking for cloth that's just randomly floating around. Which I actually don't see any. And the water's kind of squally. So we wouldn't be able to see any anyway. All right. Let's get over here and see what we can find. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right here. Check this out. Crab. Hit. Hit. I'm, I'm gonna get you. Hold still. Dude. He's magic crab. Got him. Okay, magic crab. Can't avoid the axe. Got it. Little bit of hot meat action. What's that thing? Right there. You see it? It's like super bad. Let's grab these sticks. And real fast before we go and engage it. Two more arrows. We've done it. Okay. What is that? Oh, is that... I'm so scared. Okay. Hang on. I think it's a lizard? Some kind of lizard deal. Hey, man. What's going on, lizard deal? How you doing? You having a good day? Happy Friday. Weekend mode engage. Are you a nice guy? Oh. Oh, are you coming at me, bro? Oh, he's coming at me, bro. He's coming at me, bro. Whoa! Okay, that's enough out of you, big fella. Oh, he's serpentine. Do you see that? He's going serpentine. Yeah, take that, big guy. Yeah, another one. How many is it going to take? Oh my god! Four arrows to knock down a little tiny lizard? That's not cool. What about a bird? Uh, forget the bird. We're not going to be able to get the bird. Okay. Pick up all these arrows. And one more over here. Is that it? I think that was it. Now let's see what this thing is, man. This is a lizard. Just a little lizard deal. I wish it would tell us what it is. Hold. And... Ooh, look at all the bits. What's this? Komodo skin! Alright, Komodo skin. I wonder what that's used for. Bones? Head? Nothing? Okay, we can't pick up anything else. Ladies and gentlemen, peeps, I have conquered the Komodo dragon. Uh, he was super, super scary, and we uh, did the thing. Let me throw my axe on the ground and pick it back up again so we can obviously have a brand new axe. I wonder if that works with the bow. Let's try it with the bow. Uh, I can't put it down. So, in order to drop an item that's in your hand without being able to select from the bag, I know we had a problem with this in the last episode, what you do is you press G... And it throws it on the ground, and then we can pick it back up again. And nope, the bow still takes durability damage. Okay, so having the bow is going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to have to continue to replace it. In order to replace it, we're going to have to use rope. Having rope is a bit of a problem because, like I said before, we have no real way to replace the rope. Is that bird going to land? Can I? Oh, we got him, ladies and gentle peeps. Do you see the sniper shot that that was? We s shot a stupid bird. And what do we get? What's this? Raw bird meat. I'll, I'll take it. You know, raw bird meat. Cook it on the fire. Have a little chicken. A little KFC. You know, nom 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 nom. Alright. Just keeping an eye out for this cat. 
I'm just having a look. Ooh, ooh, coconut. Just having a look over here. So yeah, I kind of want to get over to that island, but every time I go out in the water, I get attacked by sharks. So we're probably going to have to build that raft at some point. Bring sharks here? Yeah, it looks like there's one right over there. Not much interest in going out and getting sh uh, bit by sharks today. Uh, more sticks. Is there any more cocoa nut? I would love to have more cocoa nut. No kitty cat? I guess we're just not going to have a kitty cat anymore. He came out the one time, kicked our butt, and now he just doesn't want to play. Like a scaredy cat. Sissy little kitty. I don't understand. Okay, so I'm looking right here. This game is beautiful. It's gorgeous. The The graphics are nice. The sun, the sun rays are good. The shadows are awesome. But every time I move my mouse, you see... Maybe you guys don't see it. I'm I'm seeing, um, like, it... It's not that the frame rates drop or anything. It's just everything goes blurry, and I think that's motion... Oh, hello. What are you? I think it's motion blur, and I don't see an option to turn it off. Yeah, nothing. So, I mean, yeah. So what are you? Are you another one of these kimono dragon deals? Because I could use some more kimono flesh, although I know... No, it's a turtle! Ladies and gentlemen, peeps, it's a turtle! Oh, okay. Maybe we can't shoot him because he's got a shell? Okay, no, it just takes uh, takes a lot of arrows. A lot of arrows to knock down the turtle. Uh, we did it, though. I got a turtle. Okay, just want to grab all my arrows. Oh, and a crate! Let's get this crate smashed open. So this must be kind of like what the barrel was over by the other boat. What's inside, ladies and gentlemen, peeps? One. One? Oh, and a rope. Sweet. Okay, so that's just as good as two cloth. as a cloth and a rope. And a turtle. Let's open him up and see what we get. And we've done it, and we get one meat, two meat. Oh, and a turtle shell! Three meat! Three meat and a turtle shell, ladies and gentle peeps. Uh, we now have what we need in order to make this uh, this water catcher deal. I'm going to run back over to the base, constantly watching out for the kitty cat. And we're going to get ready to build this 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 water deal. And uh, and I will be our bees, peeps. We're almost out of, in, of stamina the whole friggin' way. Uh, we return home with our turtle shell in tow. To add to our rain collector, ladies and gentle peeps, we've done it. Hold E to drink some water. Oh yeah, technological advancement achieved. We now have the ability to make some rain or to make some water. Um, I've also gone ahead. That was actually relatively uneventful. <laughs> uh, we we also let's just check out what we got going on here. Uh, I've got this Komodo skin. I've got some cloth. What do I have? I have two cloth, which is super cool. And uh, a rope. A singular rope. What's this? Uh, so, what I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start this fire. Like so. Do we have no more sticks? Is that why we're done? Yeah, we're out of sticks. That's super yuck. Let's go ahead and get this fire going. Which, as if you can remember, is going to take an absolutely monumental task of completely tapping the F key an unbelievably large amount. It's actually really, really difficult. Yeah, we did it! <laughs> Jeez. I don't understand what the purpose of making that so difficult is. Uh, we're going to get some of this meat cooked up because, I mean, having more meat on the fire ready to go is super awesome. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat some coconut. Oh, yes, I forgot. No matter where the what pile of coconut you're eating from in your backpack, it 100% eats from the front batch. Uh, and then the next thing that I'm going to do, that'll do it, is I'm probably going to go to bed for the night. Actually, before that, I'm probably just going to go chop down a couple more trees and get some more resources for us. Very tired, you need to sleep. Uh, and for the record, what I have discovered in this game is do yourself a favor and save very, very, very often. Because um, one of the things that I did, and I'm not super proud of this, but I'm going to tell you guys about it anyway, is I went to sleep and I slept for too long and I didn't have full food and water. And I died in the middle of the night because I was hungry, and uh, that was not okay. <laughs> I, I, I was rather miffed about it, to be perfectly honest, that the game would allow you to do that. But, I mean, I guess it's part of the, the whole part and parcel. The whole friggin' thing. Uh, the next thing I'd like to do is I'd really like to try and get a bed built inside of our house here. Because I'm re getting really tired of sleeping out in the... In, well, in the, in the outside where the water is raining on me and those sorts of things. We are completely out of stamina. And as you can see on the bottom left-hand corner there, our energy bar is completely drained. 
um, we're having a hard time getting some of this stuff done. So I'm gonna BRB these peeps as soon as I get a little rest and some of this more some of the stuff uh, taken care of, moved around and chopped up. We're gonna need some more sticks and that sort of thing. Uh, I'm gonna get that taken care of and be right back. Good morning, everybody. We're back. Just chopping up a log here real fast. Uh, nope, nope, negative. This is not what I wanted to have happen at all. Let's toss this over here. Pick this guy up and toss him over here. Very good. All right, one, two, and three, and four. Uh, what we're after today is I've gone ahead through the night. I kept my fire going and I cooked up a bunch of food, basically all the food I had. Uh, it's now ready to go, so I'm not really super worried about keeping the fire going for much longer. Uh, but it is morning time, and I thought what we would do is start off the morning by getting some of this building done. I've gone ahead and I've grabbed all the sticks that we need and all the palm fronds, and now we need four, three more ropes. So that means we're going to need three cloth. Let's have a look and see what we've got. I've got two cloth for sure. Yeah, let's go ahead and craft that up and see what we can get done. Wrong button, man. B to craft. All right, here we go. One rope uh, and two rope. And I think that's all the rope we can make, isn't it? Yeah, we're out of, out of cloth now, so we're going to have to go do a little more exploring. We need one more cloth. I want to get that done for today. The other thing that we're going to need to do is we need to get some uh, some drinking done. So there we go. Full water, ladies and gentle peeps. We've done it. Uh, as well as, let's go ahead and eat. Where is it? Let me turn this way so you guys can probably see a little better. No, let's go down in the sun. Is it in the sun that we can see better? Ladies and gentle peeps, we can see. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh. Our bird meat and our Komodo skin goes the same spot. Let's eat this bird meat and see what it gets us. Uh, just checking out down here. We were like right here. And it looks like it's going to do quite a bit. Wow. That's that's like a third for sure. And then let's eat one more piece of meat. All right, we've done it. We did not do it. And we've done it now. Okay, so that should be all the meat that we're going to need. This Komodo skin is reptilian skin, durable, and water resistant. I don't know what we're going to use it for. I don't really have a lot of use for Komodo skin right now. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go on the hunt, uh, it looks like, because I need some more rope, which means I have to find more cloth. We've only got about a half a day's worth of energy, and we're going to have to take a nap. But let's go get some of this done. I think what I want to do, actually, really fast, before I do anything else, is get a hot repair on my hammer. Or my axe, pardon me, like so. And how is our uh, our spear? Our spear's okay at 93. How's our, s our bow? Our bow's good, too. So we went around that way last time. We're going to go around this way this time. I actually don't think we're going to find the cat over here because this is all cliffs. Uh, but we might be able to find ourselves another kimono dragon. And I, what I'm really after is I'd love to find some of that cloth that we had found at the beginning of the episode just kind of floating out in the water. Uh, maybe over here is the place to be. We're going to find out. Okay, so this, I believe, is corrugated sheet metal. There's a lot of it right here. Five, six pieces of it just here on this little island, which is kind of handy, but we really don't have a use for it right now. We didn't build out of metal, so we haven't used any of it. Right, we're just having a look around. Looking for cloth. Doesn't look like there's any here. Oh, over there, it looks like there's a little alcove kind of deal. A little cove kind of kind of way. Yeah. We'll just have to remember that claw, or that uh, metal is there. Is there any sharkus? No sharkus? Okay, we're good. Go for a little swim here. We're going to get our spear out just in case. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's just some coral. We're not super worried about coral right now. We're almost there. This uses quite a bit of... Uh, looks like health. I don't know why my health is going down. That makes no sense. Oh, well. What do you do when the game doesn't tell you why you're getting hurt? All right, so we've got a... Oh, here we go. A little coconut action. I'm just going to be careful of the kitty cat. I don't see the kitty cat anywhere. All right, let's chop this barrel open, maybe, we'll, or this box open. We should be able to get what we need. Yep. Cloth and a rope, so we have everything we need to make that bed now. I'm just going to continue along here. Maybe there's something else. Like I said, we're just going to keep an eye out for the cat. Looks like more metal. Man, there's a lot of metal over here. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, I wonder if this just goes all the way around to where we were. Kind of feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah, this feels like the other place. Yeah, that's exactly where it is. Okay. Um, I don't... Let's venture inland. Let's get our bow out. Kind of like to go up on top of this hill. I like hills. Being up on top of hills is actually kind of cool. Our stamina is really low. I'm going to be really careful in here because if I need to run, I'm going to be in trouble. 
Let's jump up on top of this rock for a hot minute. Let's just take in the view. I mean, wow. There's really not a whole lot of anything, is there? Just that island over there. Oh, do you hear it? Is that Oh, it's the rumbling of a thunderstorm. I was all excited. I was thinking it was the growling of a kitty cat. Well, the rain's coming in, which means it's going to get very dark. And in this game, dark makes it very, very difficult for me to see. And if it's making it difficult for me to see, I know it makes it difficult for you guys to see. So I'm going to just, I don't know, guess that the cat's gone and or didn't spawn this playthrough. And I'm going to head back to base, peeps, and I'll be our bees. We're back. Yeah, I don't know where the cat is. It's okay. Let's go ahead and get this thing built. Here we are. Last piece of rope, ladies and gentlemen, peeps. We've gone ahead and we've made a new bed inside of our super sexually attractive base. I'm kind of excited about it. Let's do a little hot save action. And let's see what else we can get done here in this episode. So let me get up. Thank you. And I think the next thing that we really, really need to have a look at, wrong button again, is in here we need to try and have a look at these raft bases, raft components, small raft sails, raft rudder, raft roof, and boat motor. Oh, boat motor, sheet metal. Okay, that sounds like a little hot something something. So let's have a look at raft base, raft wood raft base or barrel raft base. Both of them take three logs, and then the tire raft base also takes three logs. Something tells me there's some pe missing pieces in here. Let's get the wooden raft base put down. But before we do, we should have a look and see where the best place for it to be. It's obviously not on this side. I saw absolutely no islands. But what I did see is I see this island over there. So I think what we need to do is we need to build the raft on this side of the island. That way we can sail over there and then maybe go check out that boat. So let's go ahead and see what we can get done. All right, raft base, wooden raft base. Uh, we would kind of like it to, I don't know, go in a that direction. And I think two, two is going to be the way to go. Two for sure, and that's going to take six logs. And I'm quite sure we have six logs. A C to cancel, so sorry, X to cancel, and he's done it. Uh, I wish there was a way for me to not walk around with this bow in my hand, but it's going to be okay. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and squirt some of these guys over here. I'm not sure why this wouldn't take uh, a little bit of hot rope action as well, but apparently it doesn't. Oh, we're running out of, running out of the stamina already. Going to have to walk. Man, that's rough. But we're going to go check out that island and that boat. And somewhere around, there's got to be a... Oh, no, sorry. There's got to be a... Oh, there, we did it. One's done. There's got to be a key because we have that little box right there that says it needs a key to open, and we haven't found a key yet, so I'm thinking there's probably a key either over on that boat or that island, and I think we might have actually... There we go. We've got a raft. So... Do we just push it? Yeah, we just kind of push it. All right, so there's the raft. The next thing we're going to need is some of these raft pieces. So a sail is going to take three cloth and three sticks... A rudder is one cloth and four sticks. A raft roof is five. Oh, man. Boat motor, though. Boat motor is only one sh one sheet metal. Um, I think boat motor is going to be the way to go. So let's come over here and see if we can grab some of that sheet metal that we picked up earlier. I just need one piece of it, like so. Over here, and we'll see if we can get a boat motor going. Okay. Uh, G to drop. B to open the crafting menu. Boat motor, like so. Okay, where does it go? It goes on that end. And he's done it. Can we have two? Do we need two? I don't think we need two. Let's just have the one. And let's come over here and squirt it on. Ladies and gentle peeps, hold E for the motor. Oh, we've done it! Okay. Oh, so I think it just goes forward because we would need the rudder. Okay, let's... Oh, wrong button. Let's have a look at the rudder is one cloth and four large sticks. I actually think we can pull that off. So let's see about pull, doing that. Turn, turn, spin, spin. This is going to go where? It doesn't go on the boat anywhere? F to place. Place. Uh, I guess we can't place the rudder. That's going to be okay. I want to go out to that island. Let's see if we can make that happen. So let's see if we can spin this raft around a little bit. Like so. That's that look about right. No, a little more. A little, a little more hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. All right, let's give it a go. 
Uh, apparently it doesn't want us to go. Over that way. Go on. Are we stuck? On what? A little bit of hot coral action? Really? Okay, let's flip it. Because it's super fun. I think we broke it. I think we broke the game. Oh, that's what's going on. It's getting stuck on this stuff. All right, let's flip the raft back over. Can you go that way? Wow. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well, at least we should be able to go like this a little bit now. Okay. Are we stuck? Now what are we stuck on? Let's go out. Okay, what's in front of us? Hot coral action. It's not coral action. It's just seaweed. I've never known a motorboat to get stuck on seaweed before, and I have grown up on uh, in and around boats before, so, I mean, seaweed's not necessarily a thing that the motor's going to stop when it hits the seaweed. Okay, let's go now. Apparently, there's just so much seaweed that our raft just doesn't have a chance. This is amazing. I'm just gonna get it all. We're gonna pick it all up and then it can't stop us anymore. Devs, seriously. If I can swim through it as an NP as a character, the raft should be able to go through it. Okay, like that. Now, now what? Seriously. There's nothing. Hold E, okay. I'm on it. Hold E. Apparently we can't just go. I'm just I Ladies and gentle peeps, I think the raft is broken. I think we're going to have to swim it. Let's give it a go. Oh, you're tired. You need sleep. Okay, so before we go, we actually are going to have to get us some sleep. I'm going to get some full rest, some full food, some full water, and I'll be our bees, guys. And we're back under the cover of darkness. It's like 3 in the morning. It's going to be sunrise here in about 2 hours. Um... This might end up very poorly, but we are fully rested, fully stamina, ready to go. Full food, full water. Let's go out and figure out what's on this island, peeps. I can't see because it's so dark, so I think we're just going to swim along the surface. Hopefully this doesn't take us too long to do. We've got our spear out. Also, we may as well go down because, I mean, there's no oxygen in this game. <laughs> so we can just be underwater forever. Uh, I did manage to empty my backpack a little bit. There comes the sun. Uh, bading is my bading, not your bading, I promise. We're getting close. I can feel it. That looks like fish. It's fish? A shark. I actually think we're doing okay. I think... I think we're gonna be okay. Well... I'm gonna be about halfway there, right? Swim into the wave. That's actually a cool effect that it actually lets us swim into the wave, dive under the wave instead of trying to crest over the wave. Uh, that's a that's a that's a water swimmer thing. It's a fish. Ah, uh, fish, fish. No, I guess not. No fish for us. Uh, that is, like I said, that's a water thing. When you're uh, when you're deep water swing or well, in your water swimming at all, really, uh, you have the option of either going over the top of a wave or going through the wave. One we use is way less energy than the other, but it takes a little more advanced swimming technique. Uh, so yeah, that's actually kind of cool that it lets us simulate that sort of action. All right, here we go. To the island. And landfall, ladies and gentle peeps. Uh, looks like there's another turtle over there. That's kind of cool. Um, hmm. That was a long swim, man. There's a boat over there. We gotta try and figure out what's over there. Let's check out this little island. Uh, the turtle. I think I'm gonna leave him be for right now. And you know what? Let's uh, let's take him out. You never know when another turtle shell might come in handy. Come here, bud. Hey, hold still. Take this and one of these and some of that. Shake. There, I got gotcha. you. Did you guys know you could throw the spear? <laughs> you can throw the spear by holding right click and then giving it a throw. Uh, let's, uh, let's take this over here and just squirt it over here on the shore. Like so, that way we know it's there. Oh, another one. We may as well have all the turtles. I mean, there's no reason not to have all the turtles, and we're gonna have to check this guy out. Look at that up there. It almost looks like a lighthouse. I wonder how we get up there. There's gotta be a way up, right? Alright, turtle. I, I would love to know if we're even hitting him, right? I mean, our spear's not taking da- Oh, our spear is taking damage. Yeah, we're hitting him.
Man, stop running, please. I don't really want you to run. Oh my lord. Just friggin' stop, man. I can't even hit this one with the friggin' spear. All right. There we go. We got him. Okay. That was ridiculousness. Okay. Meat, 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 and turtle shell. Let's go ahead and squirt this guy over here. Okay. Up on top of the aisle. Let's see what we get. I've got to just walk for a second. Okay. A little, little hot sprinting action. So, it doesn't look like there's really anything here. Oh, cave. I take it back, ladies and gentle peeps. There's hot cave action. Ah, uh, hello. Kimono dragon deal. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, they're coming at me, bro. Two of the guys? Yeah, that's right. Run away. Serpentine. Oh, he's going serpentine. Okay. Okay, I got him. But where's the other guy? Is he, like, running away crazy? Where's all my arrows also? Uh, I kind of wish there was a better... A better highlight thing so I could actually see all my arrows. Like, there's one there. I know I shot them, like, over here on the ground and stuff. Oh, there he is. That's it. He's done. Okay. Pick up this arrow. Uh, so that's all the, uh, the resistance to this invasion of ours that we found so far. More hot kimono dragon meat. We're running out of arrows because I shot them all and I have no idea where they are. Not okay. Uh, game, not okay to not show me where my arrows are. Well, I suppose it is kind of showing them to me. It's not showing to me very good. Could have had that bird. All right, let's go check out this cave. Oh, check it out, peeps. Lots of stuff. A couple of different barrels. Oh, cloth for days. I wish there was kind of something else inside the barrels, though. A little hot uh, drink action. Arrow there. Inventory's full. Okay, we're going to have to make some decisions here. Uh, what don't we need? We could eat this meat, and that will free up another inventory spot for some more cloth. Okay. And extra arrows. That's super sexually attractive. Um, okay, so now, it doesn't look like there's really anything else in here. If we come out over here, what are we going to find? Uh, pathway up? Perhaps. Uh, mayhaps. I'll tell you what, I'm going to, hmm, we try some hardcore parkour action to get up on top of this guy. Because it looks like there's not a whole lot else going on here. Huh. I'm going to take a run around. Oh, is this... There's got to be a way up. Like, I do not believe this right here is the way up, but there's got to be a way. Okay, we're getting there. It's um, more than a little perilous, and the rain has started, which I assume would make the rock face very slick. Slippery? Ooh. Let's give it a try. Are we... Oh! No fall damage? Okay, we're okay with that. How do we get up? There's a building up there. There's got to be a way up. I'm going to check it out, peeps. I'll be RBs. We're getting real close. I think I'm going to be able to do this. Gonna, uh, okay. There's a little walkway over here. Yep. Come on, please. Let me through. Let me through. It won't let me through? This is unbelievable. Oh, can I? This sounds like I can smash it. It's not giving me the thing, though. Um, I think I actually have to go over there. Because I can't go up any higher unless we've actually reached the limit to where we can climb. Because uh, it's... Oh, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's... We're so close. I, I can feel that we're close. Doesn't want to let me up any higher, though. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I might be able to go down and around. Let's give that... A, oh, maybe we can... Was it C to crouch? No, crouchy won't let us around, but maybe we can get around this way. No, it looks like it's a hard wall right here. That's kind of suck, man. 
Um, because I don't know. Can we skirt the wall? That would be amazing. Okay, so we're kind of out here in the middle of. Oh, oh! So that was a little bit of hot fall action. Um, I got up to there. That's as far as I can get, and I've been all around it trying to get up. I don't see any other way. So I suppose let's go out and we'll check out this, um, we'll check out this boat. I did not find a key, by the way. I, I, if there is a key on that island, I highly suspect it's up there inside that building. I just, I don't have a way up right now, which is kind of sucky unless I can build my way up. But I don't think there's actually enough resources on that island for me to be able to build my way up there. Let's get our spear out. I suspect something along here is going to be a problem. I don't see any sharks. Knock on wood real fast. Aha! Uh -huh. There he is right there. We'll, uh, we're going to try and stay away from him. Figures, it looks like the way up uh, to this boat is on the same side of the water that the shark is, which is not okay. Can I go down, please? Will you let me go down? I can't swim down. There we go, down. There's no shark on this side, so it's only a shark on that side. That's the... Oh, rope? Hot rope action? Oh. Oh. Obviously, our inventory is full, so we can't pick anything up. Okay, we are inside the boat. I'm just going to chill out in here for just a minute. Uh, like I said, I want to have a look. Oh, I can't open my inventory while I'm in here. Hmm. So there he is, the big bad shark. We're having a look at the bottom of the boat. Looking for a key. I don't see anything. We did find that one piece of... Oh, hello. So, seaweed. We did find one piece of rope. Alright, can I come up? Can I have up here long enough to open my inventory? I can't, so we've just got a full inventory. Uh, is there a way for me to get on top of this boat? We're going to have to swim around it. Hopefully that shark doesn't see us enough to bother us. I'm wondering if there's a way up. Yeah, right here. Check it out. Right here. We're, we're almost... And we've done it! Okay, so we're up on the boat. Shark's leaving us alone. Let's get our inventory open. Is there anything we can drop? Hmm. No, but I can eat that piece of meat. Uh, apparently we have more than one... Oh, we have a lot of cooked... This is all raw... Here's the cooked. We're just going to eat it all. We've got a whole bunch of it, and there's rope out there. Uh, I want to pop this chest. There's a whole bunch of this stuff, man. Check it all out. Look at it all. Okay. We've got to get this stuff smashed open, because I believe there's a key inside one of these. There's definitely not a key there. That's a lot of cloth, dude. Yeah, it's just all cloth, and now our inventory's full. Okay. This one? Hot arrow action and extra cloth. Um, so... I think that's it, peeps. I mean, that seems to be the extent of the usable and doable things inside... Of Project Castaway. It is super early beta, and I'll tell you what, we're going to keep an eye on this game. But if you enjoyed what you saw out of this play series, please don't forget, you know, show some support and smash the thumbs up button for super, super early access gaming. And us getting an invite to check it out. I want to thank very much the publishers of Project Castaway for the invite. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share the whole thing around the internet as you see fit. Hit me up in the comments with what you think, peeps. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next week. GG's.